It's me, PUA Red Sky here. Today I'm going to get into my system for day game. How I managed to pick up women on the street. It's not a very complex process, but I think it um, could be very beneficial for some of you guys who are just starting out. And to begin, what I like to do is I'll just go up to a woman in the street and when I'm in the street, I'll approach them. I usually like to go up to them and asking them if you know they're familiar with the area. Not really a complex process, you know. And when they tell me no, then I'll ask them if they um, might know of of any places in the city, you know. Period. So I don't really get completely turned off and leave, you know, I don't get intimidated by the fact that they aren't familiar with the area. You know, you always gotta try and keep the conversation going. In an ideal situation, we got the girl talking to us, and we managed to get some rapport built. We're talking. Uh, I usually stop them with an excuse me, you know, I give them about three feet distance so they can make a decision, not intimidate them, bombard them with my presence. So, we got them stopped. We already opened with the, are you familiar with the area? Ideal situation, they are. I did, if, if they are, you know, suggest a bar that you've been to that's in the area. And once you have that past, you can pretty much go off of that. If she doesn't know, then ask her if she suggests any that are good. You know, it's, it's pretty basic. So, we have her... She's suggesting a place, you know, everything seems to be moving, she's telling you about a place, you can, um, from here, you can invite her, ask her if she wants to have a drink with you, you know, if she's not capable of having a drink right now, because maybe she's busy, you can be like, alright, well, you know, I, you can say something like, along the lines as, I think you're cute, would you like to get coffee later on? I really enjoyed, you know, talking to you, and, you know, you can pretty much go The next there. thing I like to do is, once we're at the bar, we're hanging out, this is the ideal situation. Next thing I like to do, I start liking to, you know, flirt around with her, I might ask her if she, um, what she does for a living, I might go into detail asking her if she is going to school, what brought her to the city that we are in, you know, pretty much basic things. My idea is to um, get her talking more than me. I feel that the more talking that a woman does with you, the more comfortable she'll be around you. So for every uh, sentence or couple of sentences, I try to get them tell me a paragraph, two paragraphs, you know, open-ended questions. So let's say I do that, I got them talking. I've used questions such as like, like what did you want to do when you were younger, you know? What were your goals in life? Were you a cheerleader, you know? Just stuff like that, stuff that will pretty much, your goal is to know more about her and get to know her, you know? That's how you get to know somebody. You ask them things like that. You can uh, ask her what she likes to do, ask her what she was doing before you met each other. You know, I, I ask them things like that a lot, you know. That's pretty much basic, you can just ask questions, you know. You can use statements, statements are also a good idea. Let's say, you know, they look like, I don't know, they're f fitness gurus, you can be like, oh, you look kind of like, you, you could run a marathon, you know, stuff like that, pretty basic. You know, when you first start out, you're going to come off a little bit boring until you really, you know, start getting advanced in the game, developing your personality, you know, using things that you've tried before and see that work. But that's all right, because in the beginning, it's basically a numbers game. You are going and searching for the woman who is most interested in you, and over time, you will develop your own unique style and you'll pretty much learn what buttons to push that will allow you to 
have more success with more women and and your success ratio will get higher and higher. So the next step for us is um, pretty much getting the kiss. Kiss is important. So we managed to build some rapport. We got them talking to us. You know, we've been talking to them for 30 minutes. You know, I don't really like to spend more than 30 minutes on them. And, you know, I will usually go in and else, like, start holding their hand while I'm talking to them. I might tell them they have nice hands and I'll look at them in their eye, you know? And when I'm doing this, I like, you know, brush my hand on their arm, you know, see how they're reacting. If they're reacting favorably, then, you know, I'll grab their chair, I'll scoot them a little closer. And I will, I like to move in and, you know, you know, Look them closer in the eye, you know. I think Paul Janka was saying how he likes to be close to him when he's initiating the escalation part of the game. And I'm the same way, you know. I like to get my face as close as possible to theirs, you know. Maybe, I don't know, a little less than a foot away to begin with. And slowly get closer after that. Make sure you chew gum so that your breath doesn't smell bad. You know, a lot of us can easily turn off a woman by having bad breath. Women pay attention to all the details, not to mention, you know, trimmed fingernails. For those that may forget, it's very important. So, we're close to them. You know, everything's going good. The way I can tell that the girl is into me is I'll move my face close to her and she's letting me. She knows, already knows what's going to happen. You know, I'll go and I'll kiss her cheek, you know, kiss her cheek. After I kiss her cheek, I'll go in closer, see how she's, how close she's letting me get to her lips. If she's not pulling away, then, you know, I'll go in and, you know, I'll kiss her. You know, I'll do a little peck, and the peck is pretty much the test to see that she's comfortable enough to let me, like, proceed further. So we managed to get the peck. Next step is, you know, building a little bit more comfort, getting some some makeup material going. And when I do this, you know, I'll start kissing the lips, I'll start like, you know, pecking the top lip, pecking the bottom lip. And in the process I'm, you know, not being overexerted, I'll usually count to three. Between each kiss, one, two, three, while I'm kissing, you know, I might push a little further to four, and, but I never go longer than four seconds. And when I'm doing this, I will pull away afterwards. I always make sure I'm the first one that finishes the kiss so that it's, you know, I'm just still keeping control. And also, it helps because it doesn't make you look needy in it. You're pretty much leading the way, and women, that's what they want. They want you to lead the way. They want you to lead them. They want you to sweep them off their feet. So, anyway, that's my advice for when you get to the makeout phase. Okay, going on, the next step for me is uh, that I have been hanging out with the girl for a little while, and we've managed to get a couple of drinks, and our system and we're feeling each other, we're kissing a little bit, doing a little bit of making out, you know, not overdoing it because, you know, she could be a little bit aware of her surroundings and doesn't want to make a big scene in a public place, you know, some girls aren't really into PDA or a public display of affection, if you've ever heard of that. And it is pretty much a good time to move on to another location and if you have your own place all you really need to do is um, tell her let's get out of here you know if, she, if you're in an ideal situation and she's feeling you then she'll you know she'll go along with it you know so you got your own place assuming those of you that don't have your own place if you don't have your own place you know you can always take it to a park you know, close by, that's what I've done before, and, um, it's a pretty ideal location.
for building some more comfort. I like to do the park thing if I don't have my own place first because it's easier for um, you if you're going to go to a hotel because if you're going to go to a hotel you have to have a an agreement that you're going to go to the hotel for, for sex because <laughs> you don't want to pay for the hotel and not get sex so it's best to know that you're going to be getting what you're going to the hotel for and that's it's a little bit more difficult than if you have your own place but you know it works I've pulled it off plenty of times tons of times you know and yeah so that's my advice for the hotel you got to make sure that you have an agreement that you're going to the hotel for sex so let's just assume that you don't have to deal with the hotel issue and once you get to your place it's a little bit different you know she may ask why where you're going you can just say oh you know I want to just go back and, and chill you know you know, I was thinking we could go and you know hang out watch a movie at my place you know she'll have I have some wine and I have um, this you know doesn't really matter you can say I have this some things I really wanted to look at you know you're welcome to come by and I'd really like you to come by we have a nice romantic evening you know and if the girl is really into you then she won't have a problem you really won't have to ask her much you might not even have to deal with her asking at all you know been a lot of situations like this so you got the girl she's already made out with you you know she's already comfortable around you she's already you know getting turned on so you can just proceed to getting going to your place so you take a cab you know it's always best to to pick up girls around where you live because it's an easier commute and it just makes things a lot easier okay, so. so we managed to get the girl in the taxi and we're hanging out with her in the taxi on our way to my place and one thing I do, I'll grab her leg and move her close, you know, I'll hold on to her leg firmly. She'll usually grab onto my arm, maybe kiss her on the neck, you know, stuff like that here and there, and just sit back and wait till you get there, you know. Ask her if she's having fun, you know. You can ask her if she's having fun, you know. If she says yes, that's a good sign. Usually they will have yes if they've already made out with you. And once you get to the place, you know, pay for the taxi, whatever, get her gone. Uh, one thing I think I need to stress pretty important is that you, um, pretty much, if you're not getting any positive responses, you know, it's pretty important that if you're not getting the reaction you want, to pretty much call it quits, you know, pretty much tell her that, you know, it's not going to be work your, you know, you don't have to know how to have fun. It's my favorite thing to do because it puts them in their place. And, you know, a lot of girls, if they really like you, if they feel like they're going to lose you because of whatever hangups they have, then, then they will submit. You know, they will submit. They will not sacrifice a good evening with a guy that they like just because of their little hang-ups, because of their society hang-ups. So that's pretty much what I like to use for last-minute remorse or whatever. If they're not going to, like, you know, what's the point? They come all the way to a bar or they come all the way back to your place and, you know, they don't want to give in. Don't be the guy that's going to sit there and pretty much, you know, deal with their bullshit and cuddle with them and let them do whatever they want. Because, you know, that's just not how it is, you know. Equal rights, you know, they want equal rights. They need to, you know, be equal. They can't expect us to, you know, dilly-dally and, and, you know, bow down to them and, and do what they expect us to do, you know, and cuddle with them after we just took them out and, you know, had a good time with them. And they come all the way back to our place to cuddle, you know. Let's keep it real, you know. We don't do that. That's not what guys are about, you know, that's not what the world's about. That's not what relationships are about. Relationships are about sex, 
you know. So that being said, don't be a pushover. Don't be satisfied with with cuddling when you finally get back into your place. You know, if she's not gonna, you know, satisfy you, then then tell her to get lost. No other way to put it, you know. So anyway, we're back at home. You know, we're back at our place, and we're chilling with her. I like to sit down on my bed, put a movie in on my laptop, you know, something that I've seen before, you know, something not too interesting, but, you know, still something, like, that you can pay attention to while she gets situated in your place. Just come over and sit. You know, she'll come over. Uh, if you play an instrument, you might have a guitar there or something. If you play guitar, you can, if you see her looking at it, then just like pick it up, ask her if she wants you to play it for her. You know, if you're good at playing guitar, play, play guitar. It's, you know, it's a really good comfort builder. So anyway, you got her sitting down, she, you know, you're sitting down she comes over and sits with you. If she looks a little bit, you know, awkward and be like, oh, take your shoes off, stay well. That's something I say a lot, you know. And just sit down, relax, take your shoes off, lay down on the bed. You know, if she's sitting up, just kind of tell her, you know, come here. I want to I wanna help you relax, you know, something like that. Anyway, so we got her laying down next to us. We're watching a movie, chilling for a little bit in our room. You know, one way I like to do things is I'll lightly kiss her. And I'll start watching the movie. Something uh, I read a while ago that's pretty helpful on knowing how to uh, escalate and and work your kissing and all that is is uh, two steps forward, one step back. So two steps forward is in you know you kiss, you kiss, you do a little touch, whatever you know, all that stuff, and then you know you get it real intense and you're building where you know it's getting really warmed up and you can tell she's gonna turn on and then you just step back you know continue watching the movie give her a negative body language just stop paying attention to her for a minute you know act like something in the movie was very interesting and you wanted to pay attention to it for a minute then you know once that's you know let that go for like 15 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds you know you don't really have to count it but you know a good moment then you can go back and continue what you're doing, and this time go a little bit further. You know, if you were feeling on her chest or whatever, then next time start moving toward her, you know, lower part, down, down, or whatever. Anyway, do that and build up that tension, that sexual tension, and you know, step back, continue what you're doing, watching the movie or whatever. You know, one thing I like to emphasize is when I'm getting hot and heavy and all that is you know a good thing to do is when in doubt this is gonna sound really lame but when in doubt whip it out <laughs> <coughs> so anyway <coughs> you continue watching that movie you're doing the two steps forward one step backward rule and you gotta you know just Hang in there and put her hand on it. Put her hand on it. If she's letting you touch downtown and, you know, grabbing on her buttocks or whatever, then just put her hand on there, you know? If she's letting you do that, <clears throat> then keep it, keep it going. You know, keep momentum going, kissing, whatever, and, you know, take a minute and just chill for a minute, you know, let her do her thing, if she seems like she's really into it, then let her, you know, continue on, you know, don't, don't hold her back, you know, <laughs> so anyways, you got all that up and, you know, going, and everything's all hot and heavy, she's having a good time, you're having a good time, you're watching her have a good time, and then, you know, just start, you know, getting everything, continuing on, continuing on, continuing on, mm -hmm. so this, I mean, I usually will start by Moving the pants, I'm assuming that if you've already managed to get your hand down, that you've already had her unzipped, and 
everything taken away, so you're getting more, giving her more satisfaction in that area, I guess you can say, but, um, yeah, remove the pants first, if she's letting you do that, then, you know, take them off, you know, she's already had her shoes off, so that shouldn't be too difficult, when you have the pants off, continue just, you know, playing around down there while you're kissing her. Make sure you're kissing her. You can kiss her on her stomach, lift her shirt up a little bit, start kissing her on her stomach. And yeah, after that, you know, while you're kissing her, kiss her a little bit more. Focus on kissing while you're gentle down there with that area, you know. <laughs> um, switch the other hand around and start grabbing on, you know, her rear. And then do that for a little bit once you got that down for like a good 10 seconds or whatever. Remove your shirt, you know. It helps if you work out, you know. Let her start feeling on all that good stuff you got going on. You know, slowly build up that way. And once you get that going, you can start. Don't remove your finger from, from down here, you know. That's pretty much what gets her to that edge. Well, anyway, keep going, keep going. Keep making out her, start kissing on her neck, and now I think it, it's safe to take off, to start removing your pants if you haven't, you know, changed into some shorts earlier, and you can just get to that, and when she usually gets to that point you where your pants are removed, you know, you're rock hard or whatever, and you can pretty much, you know, as you're pulling, removing your pants, a good idea is to keep a condom in your pants while you're removing your pants, and you can just pull it out while you're removing your pants and slip it on. You know, you already got her there. You can just move her panties. You know, fucking, you can push her panties to the side. You know, make it easier to just get that penetration. And once you got the penetration, you know, it's pretty much on. Once you go to the penetration, it's on. Easiest way to do it, I think, is once you got your pants off the con, just move the little, you know, opening in the panties to the side so you got enough room to enter. And bam, you're in. Once you're in, it's, you know, you're like pretty much done. You just have to, you know, show her that you're a man and that you know how to, like, give it to her. So, anyway, so having that said, uh, I think I got to the covered pretty much everything I like to do and anyway appreciate you watching this and have a good day